The hockey world lost a legend today as former Leafs defenseman Borja Salming, a fixture on the blue line in Toronto for 16 years, died at the age of 71 after suffering from ALS. The Leafs made an announcement earlier today, just two weeks after an emotional tribute in Toronto, and I'm honored to have the man who shared the ice with Salming four years and that fitting night just two weeks ago. Daryl Sittler joins me now. Daryl, thanks a lot for doing this. We really appreciate your time. Well, you're welcome. It's been a busy day, a sad day, but uh, obviously Borea is at peace right now. All right, so let's let's honor the man. And I, I want to ask about the man. I want to ask about the career. But all I can think about is that now fateful night two weekends ago or fateful nights two weekends ago. How will you look back at the weekend that we now see as as kind of the fitting tribute to what was a warrior on and off the ice? Well, I mean... Uh... It's hard to believe it all happened. I don't think he could write a better script if the circumstances were the way they were with Borea actually getting here to to be here. He, in September when I saw him, he said, Daryl, I'm going to see you for Hall of Fame weekend, but knowing and keeping in touch with his family that that was a, a long shot. So the fact that he had the courage and the determination to be here, as you can see, I, I really got emotional when I walked in front of the bench with Borea uh, out to to center ice to see the uh, concerned stoic look on the current players faces obviously he met Nylander Swedish player the fact that Mats was there former uh, captain and Swedish player with Borea on the national team and then for three Swedish players to be inducted uh, it couldn't have been any better and then the following night very seldom we have two home games uh, back to back in Toronto right. that we can honor he and his family alone on the Saturday night, it was a special weekend for, for Borea's family. One of the things that was most touching for me um, was that his family said to Lanny Tiger and I and the other Leaf players, they hadn't seen him so happy since he was diagnosed with ALS. So Borea's heart is in Toronto, was meant to be there, and uh, we certainly all will remember that. Those moments, as you know, Tim, don't come along very often in anybody's life that are as precious as that, and uh, it was great to... That it happened, and then for him to go back to Sweden uh, a few days later and be honored there, the 100th anniversary of the Swedish Federation, uh, was fantastic. And it's hard to believe here you are a week uh, later after that that he's he's no longer with us. But in honesty, it's probably a blessing in disguise for Borja and his family. That disease is a nasty one. Yeah, it's not easy for anybody going through the final stages of it. So for Borja to be at peace and not suffering anymore, I'm I'm, I'm happy for them. Without a doubt, and ALS.ca if you want to give help to what is a, a terrible disease. Oh, let, let's, I mean, I'm so happy to hear you say that his wife and his family, it, it seemed like that night was both magical and cruel at the same time to see a guy that you knew on the ice, such a warrior fighting through these moments, and, and you, you, you get touched by it almost. And, and your emotion was, was very palpable. Everyone could feel it. What will you remember most about Borea the man? Well, that was such a sad moment, but such a proud moment. Borea the man, when he came to to Toronto as a as a 23 year old kid, the league was different, as you know back then. Intimidation, uh, physical brutality was part of the game, and they targeted Borea as the first non North American player, Swedish player to play. But it just seemed that it didn't bother him. He just played through it and got better, and then became very very well respected by not only his own teammates, but the teams uh, that played against him, the players. And I remember in 76, the Canada Cup playing for Team Canada, Borea was, was Sweden, and we were in Maple Leaf Gardens. And that night, the Leaf fans, the Canadian fans, give him an ovation higher and more, uh, longer and, and more appreciative than any Canadian player. And it was so well-deserved because they respected him as a person and how he played the game. So those moments will stick out forever. I was trying to tell a younger generation that maybe didn't see him play how how many of them or us would be appalled with the amount of punishment that he took. But that was part of the reason why so many people loved him is that he took that punishment and, and he seemed to persevere through it. Yeah, um, again, the game's changed and not to say it's any different or better, uh, but, but the element of fear and courage were a big part of the game and the fans could feel that. And you could feel that within the emotion of the game that you're seeing uh, fights back Downeybrook brawls and if you happen to be with a guy you're matched up that was in that bully mood and wanted to just 
you know, start beating on you, that could happen. So it wasn't much fun, but Borea obviously had the character and the fortitude to play through it. And I, I say this, and Tiger and Lanny and I said it last two weekends ago when Borea was here, that's why he got to be there for that weekend. None of us probably would have done that. We would have been too sick or we wouldn't have put the effort in. But Borea knew it was important for him. He wanted his family to be there, his six kids, his wife. And he wanted to show his appreciation to Leaf fans and to Canada. It gave him the life that he had, and we wanted to do that for him. So it was wonderful. The Leafs organization, right from the get-go, Brendan and Larry Tannenbaum just said, Daryl, whatever it takes, we'll do to make Borea and his family accommodating and happy. We're going to do that. So we're all very proud of the moment, for sure. Daryl, you were a great player. You've been around great players your whole life. Was there a little different kind of twinkle in the eye of the Swedish players, whether it be Matt Sundin, another Hall of Famer, uh, whether it be the three that went into the Hall of Fame this weekend and or that weekend with with the Sedins and Alfredson, or even the Nylanders, did did you notice a different look when they saw Boria? Uh, totally, and and that's why it was so magical and so surreal, so to speak, because that was the weekend. It was a Swedish weekend, you know, with the three of them going in, um, and Matt's being there, former captain, and obviously an Elander, then. The next night, we started six Swedes, uh, and two Swedes faced off for the dropping, uh, opening puck ceremony. So, again, it was meant to be. Um, on the Monday night, Borea didn't make it to the uh, the ceremonies, the uh, the induction ceremonies at the hall. But uh, Lanny and or not Lanny Tiger and, and Brenda, his wife and my wife and Jimmy Kenny, we all got together with Borea and his family in a private room. And Borea watched that screen. Lots of emotion when. Alfredson mentioned him, the Sedins mentioned him, or Lanny. He was tuned into it and he wanted to be there. There was so much pride. He was there with his with his Hall of Fame jacket on, which was really cool. And uh, like it's a it's a weekend that I'll always remember and I'm so happy for Boy and, and for his family that it, it 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 ended that way that they could they could experience all that. What do you think his legacy is, Daryl? Well, uh, obviously, being the uh, trailblazer uh, coming into the National Hockey League as the first European player, and then just the moments we saw last weekend. I mean, it all, it was all so real, so magical, so touching, and uh, so deserving. So we'll always remember that for sure. Uh, we could see how emotional it was for you in the moment, how emotional it is for you now. So we really appreciate you taking the time to honor the man and. and uh, and hopefully, like you said earlier, there is some peace now for Boya. Thank you very much for doing this, Daryl. Thank you. You're welcome.